Good afternoon or good morning or just good Friday in general there year four. We've made it to the end of the week. We're almost there for this term. One more week after this one. So we're getting closer and closer still. We're going to end today or end this week shall I say with an activity on identifying and using fronted adverbials. So you're going to need your spag.com logins for this one. Okay, because we're going to be doing a lot of work on there today. Just to really recap what we've been doing. But before we get into that, we need to remind ourselves just quickly of what fronted adverbials are. They're very similar to those conjunction based openings we looked at, but a few little differences. So first things first, what are adverbials? These are words or phrases that add extra information to a sentence. The event will happen in June. He ate all his breakfast before sunrise. The girl ran quickly. Now, it's really important to know these are not subordinate clauses as there is no conjunction before them. The adverbial doesn't need to have a conjunction for it to be added to the end of a sentence to make sense. It's just that little bit of extra information. It's why they've been highlighted in red and you can see how it goes there. With that in mind, front of the verbials, nice and simply, all it is is you're putting that extra bit of information that was at the end of the sentence at the beginning with a comma in front of it. So rather than the event will happen in June, it's now in June the event will happen. Rather than he ate all his breakfast before sunrise, it's now before sunrise he ate all his breakfast. And rather than the girl ran quickly, it is quickly the girl ran. Hopefully some of you eagle-eyed ones that there have spotted the little mistake in there, that cue should be capitalised. Make sure that is as well. We like our little red herrings in our slides to keep you guys on your toes and well done if you notice that as well. Again, remember to make sure the comma always goes out for the adverbial. It's short and sweet for me today because it is now over to you. Head over to spag.com and attempt the front of the adverbial A and B activities that are on there for you. You've got this. Or oh, is this dog saying you got this? He's not the most grammatically correct, but to be honest, I think that's the encouragement you need. Best of luck and I'll see you next week.